Welcome to Sound of Resistance channel. The superiority of the Ukrainian army over the Russian army is felt throughout the country. Ukrainian heroic soldiers have cornered Russian soldiers on all front lines. Russian soldiers are waiting helplessly at their position in Ukraine. The Russian military has been having nightmares in Ukraine for the past few weeks. After the newly mobilized Russian soldiers reached the Russian barracks in Ukraine, the Russian army came to the fore. The Russian army has a huge arms storage in Ukraine, with the attack of the Ukrainian army on the Russian front. Many weapons and military equipment belonging to the Russian army were destroyed. The Ukrainian army also conducted the majority of attacks on Russian arsenals, and many Russian warehouses were rendered unusable. Another reason for the decrease in the Russian army's weapon stocks is the weapons and military equipment that the Russian army left behind while withdrawing from the occupied areas in the face of the attacks of the Ukrainian army. Russia's hands are tied due to sanctions. Ukraine's allies are applying a series of sanctions to the Russian army's occupation of Ukraine. Due to the sanctions of Ukraine's allies, Russia cannot provide weapons support from outside. In this issue, it sets back the Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine. Ukrainian fighters are advancing locked on their targets. Finally, good news came from Kherson, where the Ukrainian army has been fighting for months. The Ukrainian army carried out numerous attacks to recapture Kherson from the Russian invaders. The attacks of the Ukrainian army in Kherson yielded results. Russia announced the other day that it has declared to withdraw its troops from Kherson. The decision of Russia in Kherson was met with joy among Ukrainians. Ukrainian President Zelensky said that he is closely following the developments in Kherson, but that it is necessary to be cautious against the traps that the Russian army may place during the withdrawal. The Ukrainian army does not continue its operations only in Kherson. Ukrainian warriors are routing the Russian army throughout the country. Ukrainian fighters fell like lighting on the Russian soldiers. After the attack of the Ukrainian army, the Russian headquarters was destroyed, leaving 80 deaths. Ukrainian forces bombarded a number of key targets and devastated Russian forces during the offensive. According to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Ukrainian forces struck two Russian command posts and killed more than 80 Russian soldiers. Two Russian helicopters and a large number of ground vehicles were also destroyed in the attacks carried out by the Ukrainian army. KA-52 helicopter of the Russian army has also destroyed. Energodar is a city near the occupied nuclear power plant in Zaporizhia that became a flashpoint early in the conflict, prompting fears of a nuclear disaster. In another statement made by the Ukrainian general staff, it was reported that Ukraine also hit a Russian headquarters in the Kherson region. More than 30 Russian soldiers were killed and two tanks and four trucks were destroyed. A Russian Mi-8 helicopter was also shot down in the attacks of the Ukrainian army. Ukrainian aircraft bombed five key military targets and artillery struck two ammunition depots. After all the bad news from Ukraine, Putin's reputation has been shattered in Moscow. Russian troops were forced to withdraw from the key southern city of Kherson after the occupied area was threatened by an advancing Ukrainian counteroffensive. Kremlin military leaders announced plans for Russian troops to evacuate the city on Wednesday after sabotage of supply lines made it increasingly difficult to equip troops in Kherson. As Russian forces retreated from Kherson, Vladimir Putin's long-standing winning reputation was jeopardized, putting his power over Moscow in danger. Former National Security Advisor Sir Mark Lyell Grant warned that withdrawing from Kherson could cast doubt on President Putin's leadership in Russia. Former National Security Advisor Sir Mark Lyell Grant said, Within Russia, the vast majority of the Russian people are only taking one version of the truth, and that is the version put forward by the Kremlin. However, the oligarchs around President Putin saw the truth, and that it somewhat jeopardized the position of power in Moscow, he added. While Putin is losing celebrity in Russia, the President of Ukraine stands out as a hero to the Ukrainian people. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky spoke about the future of war in his daily war update and promised to liberate more occupied lands. Ukraine achieved a major victory when Russia troops withdrew from Kherson, the only regional capital Russia had managed to capture after the invasion began in February 2022. Speaking to the Ukrainians in his nightly update, President Zelensky said, The world sees this now. He sees what it means for Ukrainians to meet their own people. The president of Russia plans to make one last move to save his reputation. Putin orders dozens of terrifying hypersonic, 6,700 miles nuclear-capable Zircon missiles. Russia is adding new ones to its terrible arsenal of destructive weapons that can increase tension with the rise of the West.
Vladimir Putin has allegedly ordered dozens of terrifying hypersonic Zircon nuclear capabilities missiles capable of traveling at eye-watering speeds of 6,700 miles. It is reported that the March 9 weapon known as Zircon in Russia could enter service before the end of this year. Putin continues to spend huge sums on the development of new nuclear capable missiles, which he claims are unstoppable by Western air defense. The new order for the Zircon nuclear capable missiles has not been officially announced yet. A source close to the Russian Ministry of Defense said the first contract for the production of a batch of Zircons was signed in the summer of 2021. An additional contract was signed this fall. The insider added that the latest contract will see several dozen Zircon 6670 mile missile delivers in 2023. The missile, which appears to have been fired from the Admiral Gorskov warship, has also undergone several rigorous tests, the source said. Earlier this year, a ship fired missile in the Barents Sea hit a target more than 600 miles away in the White Sea. About a year ago, Putin announced the launch of a perfect salvo featuring Zircon. In January, Russian Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Krivoruchko said, State tests of the Zircon Sea-based hypersonic cruise missile are nearing completion. Serial deliveries will begin from 2022. The President of Russia boasted of our newest missiles fired from sea at naval and land targets. The tests were carried out successfully and flavelessly. This is a big event for our country, an important step towards improving Russia's security and increasing our defense capability. Putin said. Putin also said it was in mass production and described the weapon as truly unique in the world. The TV channel of the Russian Ministry of Defense said, the speed of the Zircon hypersonic missile is so high that it prevents the opponent from detecting the effect of the air defense system in time. In fact, he stated that the launch will be known only after the target has been hit. A surface target, a coastal target, I don't think there will be anything to counter it in the next few years, said Russian Captain Igor Korkmal, she added. The launch of the dreaded new and devastating missiles came as Putin came under great pressure over Russia's continued humiliating collapse during the Ukraine war. While Russian leader Putin is losing power, President of Ukraine, Zelensky is establishing a throne in the hearts of the Ukrainians with his victories. The Ukrainians did not lose their faith for a moment that they would be liberated, and they continued the heroic struggle against the Russian army. It seems that the Ukrainians will not give up their resistance until their country is liberated. Thank you for watching us.